Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's Colonel Marsh, uh, uh, 470 people, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Phase one, uh, day, uh, 15, uh, we got, uh, one left, one week, uh, left, uh, of, uh, phase one, uh, but, uh, you know, in, uh, except for, uh, Waterloo region, uh, cause, uh, they're still in the high, you know, they're going to, you can enter, uh, mid-July. Uh, that reported uh, by uh, Dr. Bruce uh, uh, Lee uh, Wang, uh, medical officer uh, of uh, Waterloo region. Mm, so it is what it, what it is, you know. So today uh, we're reporting uh, 256 uh, cases, uh, okay? Okay. Lower than uh, last time. So, Waterloo region is in the lead uh, with uh, 39 uh, cases, uh, 38 is, uh, cases from uh, P region, uh, 36 from Toronto, 17 from uh, Hamilton, and, uh, and 18 from uh, Gray Bruce uh, County. Uh, so, Ray, Gray Bruce County has joined the list this time, huh? Replacing uh, some uh, ones uh, like uh, Halton Region and uh, Ottawa. <laughs> so, all other uh, regions reported under 15. Uh, two deaths have been reported uh, today. Variants. UK variants uh, is at uh, 143,035. Uh, uh, plus uh, 110 uh, since uh, last time. Uh, South African variant is at 1,161. Plus five. And uh, Brazilian variant is at 4,270. Unchanged since the uh, last time. Uh, uh huh. Oh, yesterday. And uh, the India variant uh, is at 1,080. Plus 24. So, so, and that is the one that's uh, really uh, the major concern right now. And uh, yeah, that's the one that, uh, yeah. That variant uh, that's uh, keeping uh, Waterloo region from uh, proceeding into uh, phase two uh, until mid July, and you know that's a problem. That's a problem. So uh, you know that you can uh, since starting Monday you can uh, uh, you know if, if you're like you know if, if you got your vaccine uh, shot. Uh, First uh, vaccine shot before uh, May 30th, uh, you can uh, pre-book uh, for uh, for your second uh, vaccine shot on an earlier date, uh, and I will be the one of those people who will be doing that. And that uh, so, we're currently right now you can pre-book uh, shot two for those uh, if you were 70 up, and uh, if you were. Uh, They've been an uh, India variant, a uh, hotspot, uh, which is, uh, you know, just to recap, Peel region, Halton region, Porcupine County, Toronto, uh, Waterloo region, uh, Wellington, Dufferin, Guelph region, uh, Halton. <laughs> And um, Hamilton, uh, Durham region, Simcoe Muskoka region, and yeah, uh, those are uh, the uh, yeah. So I got the phase one uh, rules. Uh, so starting uh, June uh, 30th, uh, I'll be showing that uh, phase two and uh, phase uh, three uh, rules only. So. Uh, then, uh, 
Uh, today's topic uh, focus. Uh, this is the second day Water, Waterloo Region I had a uh, in a row. So now uh, Waterloo Region had uh, the most amount of new coronavirus cases uh, in Ontario for uh, yeah the second uh, day straight. Uh, so if you look uh, look at the overall uh, coronavirus. Uh, Daily cases that in Ontario, the Waterloo Region uh, contributes at least sixty-five percent of uh, cases. Uh, total cases, uh, no, not that much. And of course, uh, it was a uh, thirty thirty. Uh, Thirty-nine, just right one above uh, Pure Region. Uh, so uh, th this is sort of an um, improvement, uh, and uh, still bad. Cause uh, last time, uh, ninety-one. Uh, uh, Ninety plus uh, cases uh, from reported from uh, Waterloo Region uh, yesterday, and uh, that was not good news. Uh, that was like literally a wake up call, and uh, yeah. So currently, uh, they say uh, people uh, third. When they uh, released the data, uh, 35 people, uh, 35 more people have been tested positive for uh, coronavirus, uh, raising the total uh, number of uh, affected uh, people uh, water, in uh, Waterloo region uh, due to coronavirus cases uh, uh, to uh, 17,304. Yeah. And since water of the region is also uh, uh, India variant a uh, hot spot as well, and uh, Dr. Husui Li Wang uh, mentioned uh, how uh, the reason with the coronavirus uh, cases in the water of the region and the India variant uh, in water of the region is because of uh, travel, most likely travel, and that is true. Because uh, that have also happened in the Pure Region, Ottawa, and uh, London, and the neighboring London Middlesex region. And uh, yeah. And, you know, people, uh, they go to like, some places, uh, they come back, and. Uh, they uh, spread it among the community and the people don't know about it until it's too late. So this is uh, uh, why uh, because of this stuff. Uh, uh, Water of the region will uh, not be entering uh, phase two until mid July. Uh, a date has not been released yet, but you know they will be entering later, like uh, Porcupine County uh, did uh, with with phase one because uh, uh, they had uh, high cases. Uh. So my second uh, thing uh, I talk about uh, so. Uh, Fleming College, uh, anyone who goes to Fleming College, uh, so they, since the uh, last time that they had a uh, coronavirus uh, out, 
case outbreak. Uh, I'm not surprised because uh, of us. Uh, there are some students are uh, holding a, a large uh, party, and uh, you know what happens when large parties happen. You know, coronavirus uh, case, you know, cases uh, show up there, and also possible variants. Uh, most likely, the UK variant. Uh, And now the you know, the India variant. Uh, so yeah, tough situation. So uh, so last last time uh, they uh, Fleming College uh, had to uh, lock their doors and uh, yeah, and uh, all their classes were like online. Uh, yeah. You know, it was like, and there was like uh, parties uh, held at uh, the Peterborough uh, yeah, campus. Uh. And also, Trent University, also, the one, one happened there too. Uh, you know, yeah. And yeah, Trent University students uh, have. Uh, the Trent U, uh, Trent U support uh, has uh, been very unhappy about that one. So, uh, because of this, uh, I have heard uh, some uh, universities uh, and colleges uh, requiring students uh, to be vaccinated, like getting at least one vaccine uh, shot uh, t if they want to, like, you know live on residence so well uh, out not out in the southern on southwestern ontario uh i know like uh western university and uh fanshawe college uh, i know they are uh giving uh those college and universities themselves are uh, vaccinating uh, students that that might be possibly affected, and also uh, they're giving out vaccines uh, to uh, uh, students on campus. Uh, you know, but McMaster University in Hamilton, they uh, yeah, get they're like get your own. So Fleming College uh, in Peter. Is uh, requiring students, uh, so they're also using a uh, get your own. Uh, so, so they're requiring students to have at least uh, their first dose of a coronavirus vaccine uh, if they want to live on a, a campus of residence uh, starting that this fall semester. Uh, so. Uh, Trent University also made the same rule, uh, saying students uh, to uh, live on our camp campus, uh, they need to get at least one vaccine shot. And uh, this, uh, this information uh, is also uh, supported by uh, Peterborough Public Health U Unit. Uh, so, uh. So, uh, Pre college uh, president uh, Maureen uh, Adamson uh, said that uh, the pandemic uh, continues to be an evolving uh, situation, and uh, we have uh, always uh, emphasized that that safety was everyone's responsibility at, at Fleming, and the vaccination requirement for those in residence will provide peace of, of mind to the students and their families. Uh, So future residents, uh, students um, uh, are advised to have their vaccine at least two weeks uh, prior to their move-in uh, date. Uh, so, uh. so the college just said that those unable to receive receive uh, first that uh, those that perform moving moving in will have fourteen days to get vaccinated, 
and the college uh, will provide support to students who require first and second doses and we're is working uh, with closely with the Peterborough Public Health Unit to coordinate access to vaccine the So any student uh, who cannot be vaccinated on medical or uh, other ground uh, recognized by the Ontario Human Rights Code uh, may request an uh, accommodation. Uh, so Fleming College uh, say that it is committed to uh, the protection of the privacy and any information gathering in compliance with the freedom of the information and protection of privacy. At, uh, <laughs> So other safety measures will be con are still Im implemented, like masks on, capacity limits, uh, and limits in a uh, limit of number of people uh, inside a uh, building, uh, and uh, and cleaning and sanitation. You know. So the vaccine requirement. Applies only to the college on uh, residences on campus and not the entire campus uh, or uh, those uh, living off campus. Uh. So let's let's give a flashback to uh, in, in February when the a party happened uh, in Fem Fleming College and. Uh, and uh, the life of a 31 uh, year old uh, Fleming student, uh, Zachary Root. Uh, so, uh, at the off campus, the uh, privately run uh, Severn Court uh, student residence uh, in the uh, city of uh, West End near the Sutherland uh, campus. Uh, so, uh, Peterborough Public Health uh, officials uh, said the outbreak, uh, which had one point time up to 60 uh, variant cases, uh, and it was because of parties. Ouch. And uh, also a subsequent, and also a coronavirus outbreak uh, uh, happened at Champlain College uh, student residence at Trent University. Uh, mm -hmm, that one too. With a link to the gathering that uh, Severn Court. Uh, no, no. Those students, uh, they uh, made bad choices uh, and they claimed the life of a uh, student. Uh. So due to this, uh, yeah, let's be, you know, as mentioned uh, back in uh, February, uh, Fleming College uh, canceled uh, in, like, in-person classes uh, and switched to online classes, uh, so, uh, you know. All because of like uh, yeah, yeah, certain uh, students uh, who decided to have a party, like they are like important enough. Like, come on, like we're st we were still in the danger zone now, you know. So uh, a tribunal uh, was uh, launched, and, uh, and previously, uh, Adamson uh, uh, said that the college would uh, impose the uh, was the harshest. Uh, ouch! So Maureen uh, Anderson, uh, yeah, the, the college would impose the harshest possible sanction on those. So. Anyone who showed up to the party, basically, so they would get punished, punished uh, at the residence uh, complex, uh, you know. And you know, I'm glad. Uh, so 
let me call it, uh, you know, they did, did the right, they did the right thing. Cause, uh, there's, uh, someone I know, no, uh, who goes there out uh, there, they sent on, uh, uploaded on, uh, Instagram, uh, of the death of, uh, the, uh, Fleming College's, uh, Instagram, uh, that, uh, student named, uh, Zachary Rude, uh, died, uh, and so I knew that then, uh, it was because of, because of the party and, you know, you know, I did, I made a video back in February about this uh, situation, uh, and of course, yeah, I was mad because some people are so, because some people are just so stubborn, and and like let not not forget that you know also Halloween parties, Christmas parties, uh, and New Year's Eve parties, uh, yeah, people were like like you know that was, they ruined it because of that. Uh, and variant cases, uh, which was, uh, I think it was the UK variant, uh, cause that was the, that back then, like, around that time, it was like, that, that was the most, uh, common one, right, and before the South African variant and, uh, Brazilian variant, uh, came, uh, to Canada, you know, that was the, you know, cause in January, that's when, uh, when the UK variant first came into, uh, Canada, you know, Justin Trudeau, uh, he ordered the uh, borders uh, closed, uh, no flights uh, from uh, United Kingdom, uh, so yeah, but that didn't work apparently. Eh. So hospitalizations, uh, 275 people hospitalized with coronavirus, uh, minus nice, huh, okay, 284 uh, ICU patients, uh, Minus 16, 202 uh, ICU patients, uh, plus 13, uh, better than uh, last uh, year, that's the uh, months. Long term care home uh, deaths, uh, staff deaths, and uh, outbreaks have not changed. 3,782. 13 and 8. So please, uh, you know, follow coronavirus the safety rules and regulations in phase one rules. Uh, and uh, until uh, phase two starts uh, Wednesday, you know, don't have gatherings uh, over 10 uh, outside for the safety of others. Uh, when phase two starts, 25 people outside, 5 people inside. Vaccine. Sign up for vaccinations if you haven't.